Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. There's a question making the rounds. The Daily Mail reports, GCSE pupils fume over sadistic last question in Edexcel maths paper. So what is this fiendishly difficult question? Here's the diagram. Eight identical regular octagons, each with side length X, enclose a shape. What is the area of the enclosed shape? Write your answer in the form P multiplied by the term 2 plus root 2 multiplied by x squared, where P is an integer. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. There are many ways to approach the problem, but here's how I approached it. I thought about the enclosed shape and I broke it down into shapes that I would be able to calculate the area of. One shape is a quadrilateral with four equal sides. We are going to show that this is a square. Then we have four triangles here, and we're going to show that there are four right triangles. So let's get started by analyzing the angle between two octagons. Let's zoom in on the enclosed shape. From one octagon, extend the side so that theta is an exterior angle of the octagon. The formula for an exterior angle of a regular polygon is that the exterior angle is equal to 360 degrees divided by n, where n is the number of sides. In this case, we have an octagon which has eight sides. So theta is equal to 360 degrees divided by eight, which is equal to 45 degrees. Now we also have an exterior angle here. So the angle between two octagons is equal to two theta, and that's equal to 90 degrees. So every pair of octagons meet at a 90 degree angle. So we can now go back to the original diagram. We know that every single angle between two octagons is 90 degrees. So all of these are right angles. Therefore, the quadrilateral with four equal sides must be a square, and these triangles are all right triangles, and they're isosceles right triangles. So each leg of this right triangle is a side of the octagon, so it has length equal to x. The hypotenuse of this right triangle is equal to the square root of x squared plus x squared, which is equal to x root 2. Now to calculate the side length of the square, we have two more sides of the octagon. So this is equal to x, and this is equal to x. So the total side length of the square is equal to 2x plus x root 2. And each right triangle has side length equal to x. So we'll just focus on the areas of these two shapes. So the area of the square is equal to the square of its side length, so that's the square of 2x plus x root 2. This equals 4x squared plus 4x squared root 2 plus 2x squared. This simplifies to be 6x squared plus 4x squared root 2. The area of each right triangle is equal to x times x all over 2, which is x squared over 2. We want 4 of these triangles, so this simplifies to be 2x squared. We now want to add these areas. We have 6x squared plus 4x squared root 2 plus 2x squared. This equals 8x squared plus 4x squared root 2. We can factor out 4x squared and we multiply this by the term 2 plus root 2. Now we want to write this answer with x squared on the right side of the parentheses. So this is equal to 4 multiplied by the term 2 plus root 2 multiplied by x squared. And that is the answer in the form that they've requested it. What an interesting question. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.